How's it going, YouTube? Yeah, Pat Mack here, coach of the Sacramento Sands Slash, playing in week six of the Rocket Draft League up against Just Lucas, coach of the Hellblaze Volcaronas. You can see our team up above and their team down below, as well as the six Pokemon that we are bringing and the six that I think Just Lucas would bring to our match. Uh, as you can see, their team um, is sand. <laughs> they got sand going on, right? Between Gigalith, uh, Dracovish, and Excadrill, all very scary threats. Um, and all become much faster than um, our Pokemon if they can get that speed boost. However, if we can stall out sand turns, then we have several Pokemon that are faster than even their max speed highest Pokemon, um, but of course barring any scarfs. Um, Moltres being their fastest Pokemon is a, is a base speed of 90, and we have Hydreigon, Zero Aura, and um, Mew who are all faster than that, which really gives us a nice kind of advantage that we can use should we get the opportunity to stall out sand turns. So really our idea is to um, set up rocks here, and then we want to try to keep switches happening. I'm kind of expecting like sand to get set up, then a sand sweeper to get come in, and then for them to try to break us using that way. And we have a handful of answers that we're going to try to use. This is one of those situations where it's not just one Pokemon, right? <laughs> it's probably going to be a couple of them um, together who are able to uh, find a way to stall out the sand turn. So. We'll have to do that, we'll have to play around with that so that we can get in a position where our Pokemon are in a much better situation than theirs are. That's the that's the general game plan, that's the idea. So um, we'll see if uh, that's how the match plays out, and even if these are the six Pokemon that Just Lucas decides to bring to our match in just a moment. Okay, so here we are taking a look at their team, and it looks like they have a lot of the stuff that we were expecting, but no Decidueye, okay, which is good to know. It looks like they brought Moltres um, instead there. Oh, that's a big Moltres. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's make that a little bit smaller. Um, oh no, Dracovish either. Okay, what do they have instead of Dracovish? That's a that's okay. That's the one that surprises me. Okay, they have a Toxtricity instead. Okay, that's a that's interesting to me because. Okay, so hmm 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 hmm. I think that kind of means that our Shenotic doesn't really have a great matchup against stuff. It's probably gonna have to like come in against Gigalith. Is probably gonna be its role this game because really it was there as like a probably gonna die to Dracovish over Sand Turns <laughs> kind of Pokemon. <laughs> so um, it definitely has a different role this game. Okay, so what do I think they would lead with? Gosh, I could see a lot of different starts here. Um, I kind of like a. Okay, so let's use let's use Metal Saurus. Um, at the very least, if it's a um, if it's a Gigalith start, then we can either look to set up rocks or we can look to just bop it with like a body press. And I think that's probably yeah, I think that's probably it. Okay, so good luck, have fun. We already said it in uh, messages to Just Lucas, but of course, it's always good to hear it over the battle too. You know, when you watch it afterwards, it's like ah yeah, they did want us to have a good time. You know. <laughs> Um, so we'll see, let's see what they want to lead with. Hmm. I could see a Toxtricity being a solid lead too. Hopefully it's not Toxtricity, honestly. Okay, cool. That's kind of the lead I wanted. So I'm good with that. Um, Earthquake hits us very hard. Of course. Um, I kind of want to hit this to get a sense for if it's leftovers. So let's just go with, um, God, I get hit with everything. Um, I think body press is going to do the most amount of damage to it. So let's do that. And let's see how much damage this thing does. It's wow. Okay. That's an offensive. It does not have, oh, that's a crit. Okay. Never mind. I don't know what's happening then. Uh, we get hit by an earthquake. Yep. Kind of expected that thing, that kind of thing to happen here. Um, they, okay, let's see. Do we get see leftovers here? If we see leftovers, that'd be really nice. Okay, so they could be, I guess they could be smooth rock. I, I don't think that's what would happen here. Okay, do they stay in? And, um, you know, let's get rocks up. Rocks up. I think that's the way to go. Because if, if they decide to stay in and then fight us here, then, um, I don't want, um, I don't want to lose this without having the opportunity to set up hazards. So, yeah, and they do decide to withdraw. Kind of expected that to happen, honestly. Moon, who's that? Oh, interesting. Do I want to try... 
to fight you. This could honestly just be like a suicide lead plan for us right here. And I'd be totally fine with that. And they're going to take some trip damage while we get some healing back. Um, I think that's a good situation for us. Okay, so let's go. Um, let's just go for some more damage here, I think. Um, Heavy Slam is probably going to deal some more damage to this. I don't... Yeah, I think this probably deals more damage. And this covers, like, another switch, and if they decide to do that... Um, if they hit us, cool, then they hit us, right? Like, no big deal. But I also don't want them to set up. Okay, so they have Earthquake on um, the Necrozma. And they pick up that KO. So the KO... Um and they have EQ. Okay, so something for us to keep in mind. Uh, so I think at this point, we're just going to go into Cerberus. If they're Scarf for, for whatever reason, then um, we're in a pretty good spot. If they are... Um, ooh, something I also want to manage is uh, Sand turns. Okay, so they have two turns left of Sand. And a Gigalith that's pretty hard chunked. Um, I kind of want to just T-Wave. Let's just T-Wave. I don't think that extra drill comes in on this. So getting a T-Wave is going to be pretty nice here. That gives us some full speed control um, going on, which I think is going to be really good. Autotomize. Okay, you are a setup variant. So I'm glad that I got this Thunder Wave off because that kind of mitigates this um, Autotomize. Um, and I kind of am wondering if their weakness policy. The way they, um, they played that in front of a... Um, yeah, in front of in front of me makes me think that their weakness policy. We're just gonna try to chip this down. Let sand chip it. Let flamethrower chip it. But I don't want to pop a weakness policy if I don't have to. We don't need to let this try to sweep us. So let's just try to get some chip damage off. That's fine. There's um there is the kind of option that they're playing around with. Uh, Okay, now I'm kind of curious. How much does Dark Pulse do? Because if I can go for it here without letting them set up even farther, then I think I'm in a really good position. So let's say they have, like, max HP, for example. If they're max HP, then we don't quite do enough yet. Let's, um... Yeah, and I don't want to give them the opportunity to just, like, absolutely wreck us. Because we should be able to live any one hit from them. Ooh, maybe? Yeah, yeah, we should be okay. Yeah, we're totally okay there. So I'll go Flamethrower. And at this point, this thing has been suitably chipped down that we can go for a Dark Pulse if we want to. And we should be able to live another um, X Scissor here. Again, we do not want to pop a Weakness Policy on this thing um, if we don't have to. So we're just going to go Dark Pulse. Look to pick up a KO on this. Or honestly hit anything that decides to come in, right? Um, there's another X Scissor. So this was um, potentially a check to our um, the Excadrill, like being a uh, Earthquake switch in. Um, so we do pick up just the KO. But we definitely didn't want to pop a Weakness Policy there at all. Not even a little bit. <laughs> um, so Necrozma goes down, and it looked like that was very, very set up. So I'm glad that we brought the set that we did for our um, Hydreigon to avoid um, getting KO'd there. Could we have KO'd it last turn with a, um, a Dark Pulse? Potentially, but I really did not have that much um, investment into this to be able to make sure that that happened. So um, I would much rather not uh, have allowed them to, uh, to get that going. Um, oh, wait a second. Okay, this is... Okay, this is Smooth Rock. Okay, that's super good to know. And it's the last turn of Smooth Rock. We're going to go here and... Um, hmm. Actually, that might not be the way to go. Is it? Maybe it is. You don't have that much use in this game. Maybe you're the option that I want to use. Although, that seems pretty terrible, doing that in front of a... Um, like, if they go Boom Burst, for example, like, I don't really want to take that hit from this. Yeah, let's go here. I think this is probably our best bet. 
going into the Mew. Um, we'll see what they decide to do. If they go for a Volt Switch, then I kind of wish I'd gone Zero Aura, for example. Shift Gear. Oh, wow, another setup variant. Definitely not what I was expecting. I mean, this is a way to deal with the speed difference, right? Uh, I think at this point, I'm just going to go for a Psychic. I'm not really sure what kind of move they're going to hit me with, but I would assume that they have something that hits me. So I think this is going to be our best shot. Oh, let me take off. We don't have Metal Source anymore. That thing, uh, it did its job. It got some work in, and then it died. <laughs> so let's see what they what they decide to do. Okay, so they do, they're going to Justice. Who's that? Okay. That's fine with me. I'm going to get a sense for if this is... Okay, this is actually Boots, right? Because it didn't take Rocks damage. So that's also some good information to know. Um, can I Nasty Plot in front of this? I feel like I totally could. Yeah, let's Nasty Plot in front of this. I think that's definitely the way to go here. So we get some... Uh, we can get a big special defense boost, or not special defense, special attack boost. Oh, they go for defog. Oh, wow, that's even better. So that gives it gives us a free turn to set up. Um, and now, can I nasty plot again? I totally could. Nothing's changed here. The only thing that's different is that like now they have um, now they don't have rocks and like whatever. No big deal. Hmm. Okay, so I'm kind of glad that I. Uh, I did that again. We should be able to hit this thing really hard with a Psychic. And if that means that we end up at plus two at the end of this, right? Like we hit, then they hit, then we hit again. Um, then I'm, I'm cool with that. Um, this is probably probably a good situation for us right here, actually. Yeah, so I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot at the moment. Um, they've managed to get rid of our hazards, but I think that's not really that big a deal for us. Um, okay, so this looks like a set up sand and then try to sweep through with sand is kind of the the feeling that I'm getting right now. I don't particularly want Mew to get too chunked out here. Uh, I think we do go for an attack though. So let's go for, um, let's just go Psychic. That'll kill this. I don't think there's any world in, with the, in which this lives a Psychic. So that puts us in a pretty good situation. It means that I, my feeling is that the game is going to end very quickly now. We've gotten our Mew set up to a good position where um, they have to bring this in, right? And uh, ooh, how much does Vacuum Wave do to you? Let's find out. <laughs> Let's find out. This is uh, I was really considering switching this over to Aura Sphere, and I'm kind of glad I didn't. So um, I don't think I'd die from one hit. So probably means that we picked up this KO, and then it probably means we pick up the next two KOs, honestly. Um, but a plus three Mew has got to do a bunch of damage, right? Oh, it's got Chopple. Oh, it's got Chopple. Okay, hold on. That still does so much. Okay, if we live a hit... Oh, that's a crit too? Damn. I think it's still a two-hit KO. Yeah, this is still totally a two-hit KO. Okay, cool. And you Swords Dance? Oh, we're in such a good spot. We're in such a good spot right now. I bet Vacuum Wave just wasn't even on their radar as a move here, and now we're going to be able to pick up this KO, and it looks like Mew is coming in with another sweep. Ah. This Pokemon, oh man. It's really good. <laughs> this is a really good Pokemon. I feel like I am learning the power of Mew right now. This thing is sweet. Um, and at this point, we just Psychic twice. Um, both these Pokemon are weak to Psychic, so we'll, uh, we should be able to hit KO. Um, or like, one hit KO each of them, essentially, is what I'm saying. And uh, let's see what they got. I mean, I guess if they're a Resist Berry, we might not kill them, but I don't think they would be. Yep, so we pick up this KO. And uh, this is looking like a very solid 5-0 for us. Um, 
only managed to lose uh, just the one uh, Pokemon. I'm glad that we were able to scare this out when we brought in Mew on it. Um, that really gave us the opportunity to set up and um, and really get some damage off. I was really concerned that they might be able to um, like sweep through. Um, honestly, I think the best set we brought was our Cerberus set, was our uh, Hydreigon. That really um, did not allow the did not allow the uh, Necrozma to get set up at all. And I think that was probably the most important part of this match for us, um, was not allowing Necrozma to set up. Because it looked like, I mean, he was autonomized. He was probably weakness policy. Like, I'm going to, I'll probably ask him after this match and see if he's willing to reveal that information to us. But I feel very, very sure that um, that was weakness policy. And I'm really, I feel like we played around that the right way, you know? Like, I did not want that to try to get an opportunity to sweep through us. And so I think by making the plays that we did, I think we put ourselves in a position where we could win that game. Um, we did have a, a Shuckaberry on um, Zara Aura, so I think had we popped Weakness Policy, if we brought in Zara Aura as a Revenge Color, I think we would have been okay. They would have been faster. Um, I'm th pretty sure they would have been faster with like a double autonomize, but they have double autonomize plus par paralysis. Either way, I think that we're in, we were in a pretty good spot there. Um, let's go and take a look at what our plan was. Um, and we kind of did it, right? <laughs> we set up rocks, which is exactly what we want to do. We stalled out some sand turns, um, exactly what we wanted to do. And then um, no setup on Zeraora, but we got the setup on Mew, and that Mew was able to sweep through, I believe, picking up five kills for us. Yeah, that was super good. Um, really well done by our Mew, so really proud of how, how that set worked out for us. And I think the vacuum wave actually came in very, very clutch, and I'm glad I didn't switch over to Aura Sphere like I was thinking about doing. Um, Either way, really good game to Lucas. Um, the um, I think that we just had the opportunity to set up in, in the way that we did uh, and uh, and came out with the victory for that. So, Anyway, if you are interested in seeing some more VGC content and more some singles content, um, well, this was singles. If you're interested in VGC, we do that too. <laughs> um, so if you're interested in draft league content, um, stick around to the channel, like, subscribe, you know, all that kind of stuff that every YouTuber asks you to do. Um, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the game. Look forward to seeing you on the next one.